Las Vegas security guard missing latest odd twist to shooting. Las Vegas shooting story gets another shocking twist with missing Las Vegas security guard. So the Las Vegas security guard is missing. And that in and of itself, maybe it's 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 not really an extraordinary story. And uh, as we get to this, uh, you know, the word missing, maybe it's not so much missing. Well, well. I report, you decide. Hi, my name is Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and this is your iTrend of the day. Las Vegas security guard Je Jesus Campos goes missing after canceling series of TV interviews. So the plot thickens around the Las Vegas shooting story. In light of all the twists and turns in the Las Vegas shooting story, this latest twist, the disappearance of Jesus Campos, the Las Vegas security guard that was shot by the gunman before he opened fire on the Route 91 festival crowd, has just added another set of curious inconsistencies and oddities to a story that is already filled with conspiracy theory inspiring bits of data. The Las Vegas shooting story has shifting timelines with Mandalay Bay Hotel representatives still disputing the latest timeline presented by the authorities investigating in ca the case. It has the case of a young woman, a story that we covered on iState.tv, who appears to have claimed there were multiple shooters dying uh, and then suddenly dying uh, about a week after the shooting. And now... It has the case of the missing guard, or what we're calling a missing guard. We'll, we'll get to that. Called now the Las Vegas security shooting security guard. That's what he's referred to now, the Las Vegas shooting security guard, Jesus Campos. Campos was scheduled to appear on several TV uh, interviews last week. Our TV interview shows. How, do, how, how would you word that? Uh, TV interview shows, TV interviews. But uh, he basically, he canceled. He suddenly canceled all of his scheduled interviews. And MGM Resorts International spokeswoman Deborah DeShong said about the missing Campos that he wants to tell his story at a time and place of his choosing. He's asked that everybody respect, or everyone respect his request for privacy. So, first of all, let me reiterate the point I made earlier. There are a lot, I mean a lot of inconsistencies with the Las Vegas shooting story that in isolation, don't really lead me to engage in a pursuit of conspiracy theories surrounding the event. But, coupled with so many other oddities about the Las Vegas shooting story, this latest oddity doesn't help at all. Campos may not have disappeared so much as he hid himself away due to the pressure of having a whole nation scrutinizing on him. Campos may have been ordered to disappear by his employer, who fears some sort of legal liability that might emerge if his story doesn't completely line up with theirs. If, for instance, Campos was injured by the Las Vegas shooter six minutes before the shooter opened fire on the concert below him, then the hotel might find itself liable for not acting fast enough. Or, and this or only comes after all the other strange twists in the Las Vegas shooting story. Campos was silenced, be it permanently or simply by being detained temporarily and possibly threatened by the government for fear that he would reveal information that would show the whole event was staged by the government. So the last time that anyone heard from Campos was Friday, information that was only released yesterday, Tuesday, October 18th, 2017. 
That information came from the security police and fire professionals of the American Union leader, David Hickey. He told the press that Campos was last heard from on Friday by a union member who had texted others that he was with Campos. And it was that same union member that texted people to let them know the scheduled TV interviews with Campos were uh, canceled. So Hickey said, and I quote, the message was, we are taking him to quick care. We're hoping to hear from Mr. Campos. And if Mr. Campos contacts us for assistance, we will be there. And according to an AP story, and I have a link to that AP story in the article that this this uh, video was produced from on iState.tv, all of their attempts to contact Campos and even friends of Campos were met with no response. In addition to not having their phone calls returned when they sent reporters to his home, a and I'm quoting from the, the, the story here, Woman entering the Campos family home who refused to be identified said he was not talking to reporters. The property was conspicuously posted with no trespassing signs. So added to the Campos disappearance is the sudden refusal by the maintenance worker at Mandalay Bay, Stephen Shook, who had last week appeared on the Today Show. In that interview, Shook had claimed that both men were pinned down in the hallway by gunfire. And Shook has since declined to speak to anyone else. No more will he speak to the press. The Las Vegas police seem to have no concern whatsoever that Campos has suddenly disappeared. Their position is that Campos's status is not affecting the investigation. They also added through department spokesperson Larry Hatfield, they haven't lost track of the security guard, nor do they believe he is in danger. And I'm I'm still not at all convinced that this shooting wasn't anything more than a lone government performing a singular act of evil against hundreds of people. But when you see as many strange coincidences or inconsistencies, not coincidences, inconsistencies in a story such as we have with the Las Vegas shooting, then asking questions is not in and of itself a bad thing. So the fact that YouTube has decided to filter its content to only show mainstream media results for the phrase Las Vegas shooting only adds to the conspiratorial fog. And if you do the search, do a search for Las Vegas shooting, you're going to see ABC News, NBC News, CBS Time, whatever. You're going to see, I don't know if Time is one of them, but but ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox News, all the all the mainstream media outlets videos are there. As a matter of fact, it's so bad. You got to keep on scrolling down and scrolling down and scrolling down, and you'll see other ABC News, Fox News, NBC News stories about other Las Vegas shootings that have absolutely nothing to do with, with, with the search term. And so, so clearly, and they even announced that they're going to do what they can to make sure that conspiratorial videos don't show up in the search. So the fact that they've done that, it only adds, it only adds fuel to the fire of, of the folks that are prone to follow conspiracy theories. Furthermore, YouTube's attempt, though, to decide what's best for you to see rather than allow results to emerge in their search that reflect what users are actually looking for can easily be circumvented by people actually looking for conspiracy-type content on the Las Vegas shooting. Don't believe me? Just type in Las Vegas shooting conspiracy or Las Vegas shooting false flag. Whatever you want. You, you'll be able to find these uh, videos. Now you're going to find uh, the people making these videos are all demonetized. Like I know even before this video gets published, this is going to be a demonetized video. I have, I have no doubt about that, but that's okay. And and you'll find the, uh, uh, you know, like I said, you, if you do these searches, you'll you'll be able to find these videos. They, 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 they haven't really stopped it. So the mainstream media has decided to not pursue asking tough questions about the Las Vegas shooting, ostensibly for fear of spreading fake news or conspiracy theories. I guess I guess I can understand that. But for um, well, there's a cost for that. 
uh, the pursuit of attempting to answer some of these questions might actually do more, far more to quell the conspiracy theory talk than almost <coughs> monolithically deciding to look the other way at the oddities surrounding the story. And there you have it. This is Paul Gordon of iState.tv. And this has been your iTrend of the day. If you'd like to learn more, be sure you click on the link provided in the top right corner, top, top, top right corner here, or else find the link to the full article this video is based off of in the description and comments section below. And if you like this video, whatever you do in this channel, whatever you do, then help us out by subscribing. Uh, subscribing to the channel and click on the bell right next to the big red subscription button so you get the latest updates when our videos come out. And do share this video with your friends and comment. Your comment might just end up on our weekly feature, You Comment.